guys, I wanted to share with you a quick tip on taking your art stuff on the road. Now, I'm not talking about finished art. I'm talking about art supplies on the road. Um, this is, well, you're just going to have to find out. Claire Lawrence. All right. Um, cleaning out my studio and well, you can see I made some progress there, but it's been, it was a huge mess. Let's put it that way. And I finally unpacked the stuff I took to Seguin with me. And I wanted to share something that I do normally. And this time it was huge. Um, it's just a little hint. Or, or a trick I should say that um, I do to help out with my art supplies, especially since I use art supplies like alcohol inks and resin. And well, there, there are a lot of fluid materials and yeah, you can run into some big messes. So um, yeah, I need to share, share, show you that. I can't talk. I need to show something to you. All right, let me talk you through what I'm talking about here. So I'll have a bunch of powders and such these aren't too much of a problem. Just make sure your lid's nice and tight. However, um, like for example, with resin, I use paste and they can be rather sticky if they get loose out of their containers and can make a humongous mess. The other thing I work with a lot of times is alcohol inks. So, and those will commonly travel with me back and forth to like either Dallas or Skeen. So that's primarily what I'm talking about. So as far as resin paste, go i haven't seen and these are like three different brands here i haven't seen any packaging that's immune to possible seepage coming out um so if you have to take these on something that is going to be packed right next to something that cannot get messed up i highly recommend you either individually wrap them or at least put them together in a bag uh, and here, give you an example of this. I was still trying to be careful and made sure that the uh, the sides were all cleaned off before I stuck them in the bag. And you see there, I've already got some purple residue. And that's just from driving back and forth from uh, Seguin to, to Austin area. And, you know, that's like an hour and a half drive. So that's not that bad. So, and in some cases, it's gotten worse. But... This stuff here, um, this is a Glad Press and Seal. Sometimes if I know I have a bottle that is maybe the lid's a little weird or uh, might possibly leak, sometimes I'll wrap it up in this stuff and it just helps me give just a little bit of extra step to make sure it's going to stay uh, secure as far as not opening up. But if I'm still thinking that this thing might leak, I'll, I might throw this into a plastic bag because you never know still. And I have a really good example, and unfortunately, this is going to take a lot of me, a lot of time to clean up. But nothing on the outside of my bag got messed up. Um, and let me show you a little. <laughs> this is a good example. Okay, so these were a bunch of obviously alcohol inks, and you can see one of the colors seeped a little bit. So I got a little bit of a mess there. Not too bad. But here's the other bag. Are you ready for this one? Ugh we have a major explosion in the bag. So most likely, yeah, you can see how that's nice and gooey there. Um, that's gonna require a lot of cleanup there to get it worked out. But it's all contained within the zone. And see, I even did the clean, uh, clean wrap there uh, on this particular bottle. And I think that's the culprit that, uh, that leaked, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, but if you also notice, this is, well, I, of course I did this. This is old paper. See, it's not coming up on, on my hands or anything like that. So everything that was in my bag with this was protected and the mess stayed contained. So if you're in doubt, if there are any kind of art supplies that are in liquid form and you have to travel either driving or flying, uh, and of course, obviously with recommendations from the airline and stuff like that, I think you have to check it in, um, bag it. And if you're in doubt, double bag it. So that'll help you out as far as protecting your stuff around it. 
because you know, let's say we all love art supplies, but they can be messy. Uh, that's gonna take some work. So I got some brushes in there. I really want to salvage. <laughs> anyway, gloves are on. Time to get busy cleaning up my mess here. Now, I will say this much. Alcohol, 91% will work with both this and with this as far as cleaning up the outside. So at least that's in my favor. <laughs> I'm not videotaping this part because, you know, it's just cleaning up stuff. So it's not that exciting. Anyway, later.